Okay, so now I want to access all Power Platform products. Now, how do I do that? Remember, this is my username. So I'm just going to create a new app. And assuming I want to access Power App Studio on my address bar, I'm just going to press make dot power apps. Oh, you can see it is there already because I have been accessing it. Make.powerapps.com. Make.powerapps.com. I click on enter. It is going to ask me to sign in. So I'll just come here. This is my administrator username. I copy it. And I paste it here. Click on next. It's going to ask me for my password. So let me enter my password. Sign in. Click on yes. Wow, so I am in make.powerapps studio. It is now loading. Now, what if I want to access Power Automate Studio? What if I want to access Power Automate Studio? It is the same process. I click on, okay. Now, on my address bar, I am going to enter flow.microsoft.com. So for Power Apps, it is make.powerapps.com. But for Power Automate, it is flow.microsoft.com. Make sure you take note. I click on Enter. Let me take a look at my Power Apps Studio. It should be loaded by now. It is still loading. So, welcome to Power Automate. It's asking me to select my country or region. And as usual, since I started with Nigeria, I'm just going to continue with Nigeria. Click on Get Started. So, I am in Power Automate as well. You can see, you can see. Yeah, so this is working. How about Power Virtual Agent? It's also the same thing. Power VA dot Microsoft dot com. Oh, you can see. Is even showing you as web.parva. Web.parva.microsoft.com is also going to work. Automatically change to web.parva.microsoft.com. So this is for Power Virtual Agent. This is for Power Virtual Agent. So with my Microsoft 365 developers account, I can access all of these products, all of our platform products. So it's also asking me for my country and region. If I start with uh, no problem, click on that. I'm just going to click on that. So it is loading. Now, how about for Power BI? Power BI is your normal powerbi.com. How you can see it is there, powerbi.com. So everything is working. So I can access all of these products for free. It's asking me to enter my email. That is easy. I'm just going to paste what I copied from here. Paste it. I click on submit. Now I am logged in. I can access all three, six, all Power Platform products. But what if 
I might not remember all of this web address and all of that. How else can I access all of these products? Now, this is my make.pavs.com. Um, once you enter any of 365 products, whether Power Apps, Power Automate, Microsoft Word or Microsoft Excel, I take for example, this is Power Apps and this is Power BI. You can see that there is something here, a nine dot. And see, same thing in my Power Apps as well. It is being noticed in all of this studio, all of this, it is here. And this is your app drawer your, or your app, you can call it your app launcher as well. So once I click on it, I see all of my applications. You can see Outlook, OneDrive, Word, Excel, PowerPoint, OneNote. I can also see, if I want to see more, I click on explore all my apps. Explore all my apps. And it is just going to show me all my application. It's going to show me all my application. You can see Power Automate is here already. Power Automate is here already. I still want to see all my applications. You can see Power Apps is also here. Power BI is also here. Very, very beautiful and easy. Easy, easy. So that is how you can create your Microsoft 365 developers account. Very, very easy.